Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to Amberlynn's weekly weigh-in. Fourth question is, what's different this time with weight loss surgery versus last time? So I don't know if you guys know this, some of you are new to my channel, some of you haven't seen all my videos or know about every single thing that I do in my life. Um, I have tried to get weight loss surgery before, it was actually a few years ago, and they told me that they wanted me to heal from my past, and I took that as a fail. This time, I know, I know they're gonna say that to me. Instead of thinking of it as a fail, I am accepting it as part of the journey. That is how I know my mindset is completely different. It's it's not gonna be a fail. It's not gonna be, no, you can't get weight loss surgery. It's, okay, here's your first step, now do it. And the reason why I took that as a fail last time is because I didn't wanna put in the work. I didn't want to at all. And this time I do want to. That is a big difference. When she got out of that appointment, she was having a last hurrah. And then the next day she said she could not follow the diet the doctor gave her because it had too few calories and she could eat a burger, but not too much broccoli. Many of us thought she was just not ready to commit, but were called haters at the time. Now she is finally being truthful about it. It is really weird watching Amberlynn's life play out for so long, getting her perspective on everything in real time and only getting the truth years after the fact while the people who speculated this were called haters. It's not that she straight up lies all the time, it's more that she never wants to tell the whole story or take accountability until way after everything is over and she has moved on to new goals and plans. It makes everything she says a little unreliable. Last question is, does Delta 8 make you binge? It does for me, does it for you? So Delta 8 is a a wannabe THC, I mean it has THC in it, It's I don't want to get into details, but it's just legalized like marijuana, kind of. And yes, um, I actually had to quit and that was hard for me because I think I kind of started to rely on it. Um, I woke up and I was excited to take one and I couldn't go to bed without one. It was becoming um, a crutch when I had anxiety or things felt heavy, I would take one. And it was becoming sort of an addiction. I feel like anything could be an addiction. We don't have to discuss that right now, but I have quit. I no longer take Delta 8 anymore because it was causing my benching to get way worse because I was getting to a point where I was getting pretty high and like, I would just mindlessly eat and eat and eat all day. So I guess it's time that I share with you guys um, when I said that the first week of Ozempic did not work for me. And the reason why is because I was taking a lot of Delta 8. And like I said, it was like, I was obsessed with it. I relied on it. I relied on it a lot. This is another example of Amberlynn showing us only half of the truth. She portrayed it to us as if she had no idea why she wasn't losing weight right away that first week, and how she expected more, and now she wants to tell us the whole truth, because for her it's over and done with. Do I actually binge, or do, do I just eat large quantities because I'm addicted to what I'm eating? And this is all something that I am going to be able to find out. And I'm just thinking more and more, you know, about it, and like the last time I showed you guys, you know, I was binging, it was literally a meal from a fast food place and like people were saying that's not a binge and then I was confused because I was like, well, my psychologist says it is and I feel like it is and then I just, I don't know. I am confused and I feel like this whole weight loss journey thing and me seeing another psychologist and really digging deeper because we need to dig deeper so I can get approved for weight loss surgery. I think I'm gonna be coming to a lot of um, memories and situations and things that uh, I don't know if I want to talk about and absorb and process and think about, but I have to. I have to. It is really important to know the trauma you have and then heal from it. But seeing your relationship with your mom now, 
I understand that unlocking feelings and memories that might risk that relationship is very scary, ultimately, you can come out of this having an even better understanding of who you are and why. And um, so when I sit here and say, I don't want to binge, I guess that's just what I'm used to saying. And what I really mean by that is I don't want to eat when I shouldn't. And that is just the easiest way for me to explain it right now, because I always considered me binging when I'm eating large quantities, quantities of food when I shouldn't be eating them. That's what that felt like to me. And I don't know, I just... Over the years you have given us different explanations on what a binge is to you. Going even as far as to call the feeling a binge monster, it does not mean that your problem is fake. But it is frustrating to see that even after all these years of working on it, and eventually seeing someone who specializes in EDs, you don't even seem to know what the problem is. How can you fix something without knowing what is broken? I hope you are not too late. And really want to get to the bottom of it this year. Anyways, so... <sighs> I weighed in at 520.0, which means I did gain weight and I'm exactly where I was on January 1st. Today is actually Tuesday and um, I got a new scale. You guys will actually see that in a vlog. Um, I opened it for you guys and I explained why I got a new scale. And I weighed myself today because I wanted to see if the scale was accurate. So I stepped on the one that I usually use and then I stepped on the one, the new one. And I'm already down a couple pounds from just Sunday. So that makes me really happy because like I said, I'm not what I consider um, binging. Am I overeating? Yes, but I just feel like there's a different level. I don't know how to quite explain it. And I kind of want to dive deeper into that and maybe like show you guys physical foods and what I mean by like overeating versus like binging, if you will. So on a happier note, my weight loss surgery appointment is coming up soon and I am honestly so, so excited. If she is back to where she started this year, she is losing track of her two pounds a week idea. I really hoped she would lose more weight before her first real setback of the year. But the weight loss surgery appointment is coming up and I'm so curious to find out what she needs to do and more importantly what she is willing to do to get this surgery. In this video Amberlyn does talk about her childhood and family regarding addiction, these are deeply personal and emotional subjects for her, and I have no comments to make on them. So if you want to know more about her family, you should go to her channel and watch her video. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.